Hey guys, Jay Goni po, Keepsakes. Welcome back to the channel. And, well, April 1st has gone off in Japan. It's already uh, 12 midnight there. So, on this video, I'm going to talk about the best female voice actresses. My choices. My choices for the best female voice actresses of 2021's uh, winter season. Nakatapos po ng winter season. We're transitioning into the spring season already. And it's time to pick our choices. So, now kaharap ko ang polls na Anime Corner. They also have their male voice actor polls. It's already linked here. So, maybe we, we, all, we also jump there. No? So, let's start siguro. No? Let's start siguro. Okay. As I mention each voice actress dito, I'll tell something about it. Uh, sa pipiliin ko, of course. Uh, okay. So, let's start with Aika Pama. Isuzu Sento, now Aries. And then, uh, Komi Naturuko from Selector We Cross. Uh, her voice nowadays is much more upbeat com uh, compared to her past roles. The last role that she did prior to Eris, as far as I know, is one from uh, Heros. Hex Heros. Whatever you call it. <laughs> but she has a cute character. They are very cute Sundere character. Very cute Sundere character. Dito din sa Mushoku Tensei as Eris. Very good. Alright, next up, Aikayano. Aikayano, of course, one of the best. You know, she started with Memma. And then now she's already raking in big roles. And she also has her own kind of versatile voice. Her other roles includes uh, Mari from Last Dan. And don't don't ko nalaman na she's inclined to that this voice that she had when uh, she was cast as Kirika for Simple Gear, the series. So, uh, Aimi Tanaka, um, okay, hindi masyadong tumatak sa si Aimi Tanaka this time. But definitely, Aoyuki did. Um, I haven't uh, observed so far yung mga performances ni Aimi Tanaka, no? but not to compare her with the Aoyuki who has been there and there and there and there. Uh, she's She's been at belting her voice out as Kumoko. And ano pa bang susunod niyang role? Yeah, she had she will have an upcoming role about someone who's been beating slimes for 300 years and had maxed out her capabilities. You might want to watch that for the spring season, by the way. So I'm a spider so what has a quite a huge all-star cast. Ayane Sakura, if I were to think about Ayane Sakura this this winter 2021, it must be Gabi. Alright, next up, Ayano Shibuya for Rido Healer. This is one of her breakout roles. I'm, of course, she already explained her side. Or is it an explanation? It's more of like a experience, no? So far as a voice actress on her breakout role talagang. There are some instances na some voice actors uh, have these experiences. That they'll have to take roles for series that uh, are so good it can be something else. So, but but her, her performance here, kita talaga yung pro na pro eh, and I respect that. Haruka Shiraishi, um, Ray, I watch We Cross Diva Alive. So Ray, um, tumatak talaga sa akin with Haruka Shiraishi before is her role as Misha from Uzamate. Now. She's doing Yuri from High Res Invasion. And aside from Ray, we have Tai from Wonder Egg Priority. So, let's go! Haruka Tomatsu's role in Horimiya is. Yung talaga, um, it's so professional, but it's natural to her. No? So, well, she has been with us for so long. Sword Art Online palang. Sword Art Online palang, guys. Okay, Hiki Sayoko. Uh, Okay, Blood Love, Cell Support, Code Black. Ah, Kiara! Okay, Kiara. Yun talaga. Ah, right. Hinakiano's development nowadays. She started from Nijigasaki School Idol Club, which is uh, last year now. And then we see her developing into having more roles like Wonder Egg Priority or Umamusume Season 2. It's a go! Okay. Um, I'll, let's see. I watched 
Musho Kotensei, so I'm very familiar with Konomi Kohara as on my experience as someone who listens to voices. No? Uh, ito, ito, break, break to roll niya din to eh. I will pick her. And, okay, Megumi Toyoguchi, uh, okay, that's something. <laughs> I've watched both Mushoku Tensei again and uh, Tensera. So, this one, especially this one. Yung voice, yung voice ni Miho Kasa, especially on the climax of the moment of this first part of season 2, doon mo malalaman, it's something else. She has, she has that something else. Eh. Right. Mio Tomita, she's been everywhere. God, I, I'm hearing her name uh, from We Never Learned together with Haruka Shiraishi to this one, to Hidden Dungeon. Fortunately for me, I watch Hidden Dungeon. So, Rizu, si Gabriel Tenma White. Uh, marami mga pa siyang roles before. Eh. And she's, she's already a rising star in the industry. Now, Toyama. I'm hmm, karna siya. Okay. I'm, I'm I still have to finish. I still have to finish your cup season two. Right. Okay. Iria Morakawa's role as uh, Ram for V Zero season two. Again, hindi I stereotype her once. Sa vivid red operation as Tabaoi. She has this cutesy cutesy voice, and then she did that for recreators. Yun nga lang. I think if I were to talk about Rei Murakawa in general, okay, we had Nonon Biori, we had, uh, we had, ano pa ba? We had Rick Creators, and we had Cheer Fruits. She also has a versatile voice range, somehow. So, uh, moving forward, uh, Shizuka Ishigami's role as Setsuna made the character well endeared to me. In a way, uh, meron pa tayo ano? Okay, meron pa, right? Yumi Uchiyama, of course. And then, um, pino pa ba? Yumi Rin? Do I pick Yumi Rin? Hmm. All right. So that said, uh, I'll get on with the male voice actor polls. So, sa best me voice actor post naman, of course, uh, I'm more inclined talaga sa female seiyu. But this time, let's see, see what I can what I can say about the best male voice actor roles. Let me scroll down for a bit. Okay. Namidai. Namidai's role as Rudyard, uh, pinakita yung bosses na, I'm sure everyone's familiar with uh, the voice of Daisuke Namigawa, but not, I'm not that familiar. Pero yung role niya dito is something eh uh, yung role niya uh, as Richard from Shokotense and he's also in ah okay he's also in Spider so he had the uh, roles ano okay um kung kung may isa pa matatanda na voice actor dito siguro hmm let me let me scroll let me scroll ah uh. I have I have to scroll alright since I've just finished Tensor Season 2 Talaga matat- talaga if you if you hear the voice of either Takahiro Sakurai or uh, talaga ma- marinig, um, you will understand that hey it's him so I easily stereotype him well it doesn't help that I also remember Osomatsu san so anim sila doon kasama ni ni Daisuke Ono Ono D alright okay next one Ryota Osaka okay I watched the Hidden Dungeon uh, he was able to kumbaga, parang convey yung parang uh, how how Noir's character is. Although yung parang yung high pitched voice niya sometimes I was wondering kung talaga yun talaga. Kasi I I I, I if I'm not mistaken I treat Noir above as someone above 16 years old. Mga ganon. Pero they're, they're young. They're teens. Eh. They're, they're teens as far as I understood. Alright. Uh, okay. Hindi na listed dito sa series yung iba. No? So, uh, you can tell Anime Corner about that. Yuya Hosumi, his breakout role. He's from Ken Production, the same agency as Rika Koaida. Also, uh, Ayan Shibuya from earlier. Para silang Ken Pro. So, yeah, 
Alright. So far, ito lang yung mga napili ko, unfortunately. Again, wala ko masyadong masabi. Yun yung, ito yung mga roles, uh, ito yung mga people, these, these are the people who, na tumatak sa akin as I watch anime. For someone who's not watching Attack on Titan anymore, calm down. Uh, you, you can you can always support naman the voice, voices behind uh, your favorite characters sa Anime Corner Pulse. Ano, pero, again, as uh, someone who has different tastes sa anime, huwag natin, uh, huwag, huwag natin pag-awain yung anime, taste sa anime. So, with that said, uh, again, you're welcome to vote. You're encouraged to vote in the Anime Corner voice actor polls and you're also encouraged to vote for the winter 2021 anime of the season you have until april 2 so today's prob probably when i post this is already april 2 you probably missed out pero we anime corner has this weekly anime polls coming up for spring 2021 so watch out for it polls.animecorner.me is the address and you want if you want to follow us if you want to get to the proper voting ballots you can follow anime corner on facebook twitter and instagram so with that said before we cap up this post let me just recap ko ano yung mga napanood ko and what i love to vote for this series uh, okay so there's that eto tatapusin ko eto natapos ko na Ito, I'm not sure if tatapusin ko pa siya, but there we go. Uh, this one, of course, this one, and... Hmm. Alright, this one, of course, this one, and this one, this one. Diva Live, uh, I skimmed through the episodes so far. <laughs> Mga short anime natin. Uh, Azure Lane. Walang Azure Lane dito. Well, they did include World Witches, so I'm happy. So, yeah, that would be it. My name is Jay Gona, and this has been Keepsakes. I'll be signing up for a bit, but don't you worry. Next week, Otaku Fest 2021. Media partner po ang Keepsakes, and we have something prepared for everyone who will be watching Otaku Fest 2021 online. See you soon!